everyone hello and welcome back to the channel and let me say guys Merry Christmas I hope you all have a safe one and if you do get some free time and an opportunity to get a video in today here is a video to check out it's Acura Amanda um, she is a female frauditor that is so intent on becoming top dog top frauditor out there that she is willing to go and harass the police and that's exactly what she does in this video, harass the police. Let's watch this video and let me prove to you that she is harassing the police, guys. This gentleman's been sitting here for a long time. Yeah. I'm surprised he's still here. He was on his cell phone. He was on the cell phone. Body camera. Wow, he's pointing a body camera. That's an ultimate okay. cam back. Actually, guys. I do have a question. Please. I'll get his car number so we can request that footage. Uh, PED one four two eight. Actually, I do have a question. Please. We just need your name and badge That's number. That's the exact question I have. It does smell hot. It does. What is he doing, sir, officer? Yeah, we do have a question. Please. Thank you. Yeah. Can we just get your name and badge number, please, officer? Yeah, send me, send me to you. Back up, please. Back up for me, please. Ma'am, back up for me. Okay, I'll back up. Can we have your name and badge number? How can I help you? Can I have your name and badge number? How can I help you? Can I have your name and badge number? How can I help you? Um, she's asking for your name and badge number. How can I help you, ma'am? I just need your name and badge number. That's all I'm asking. How can I help you? 
I'm asking, could you please identify yourself? I need you to create some distance for me, please. Public servant, we need your Great. name and badge number. You Great. came up to, you came out of the car Great. and Great. came Great. up to us, okay? How far about do you want us to step? I'll step one step up. Yeah, let's give them some space to okay. breathe, Amy. Do you feel comfortable now to Put give us your name and badge number, sir? That blue line flag. Oh, he's got blue lines. Oh, yes, he does. That tells you a lot. Can we please have your name and badge number? We'll be on our way. I mean, I can see it, but I would prefer you verbalize it according to your policy. How can I you help? You can help me by giving your name and badge number. How can I help you? I would like to have your name and badge number. How sir. can I help you, ma'am? Uh, you can. I don't know. Do you not understand English? How can I, I help? I need you? your name and badge number. Well, you're stepping help? closer to her now, sir. How can I help? I'm gonna need you to back up. How can I help you? Can we need your name and badge number. How can I help you? You we can need help. help. Give your name and badge number, please, sir. How can I help? You? I guess this you is going to be circles. You guys need... I don't know. I don't get it. Is this a nine one emergency? Do you need help with something? Did we call nine one one? You need help with something. Did we call nine one one? Yes or no? Something? Yes. We need your name and badge number. Have a nice day. It's against your policy do not, not approach, to give us not your name car. and badge number. Do not approach my vehicle. That's our vehicle. Step away it's from not my your vehicle. vehicle. It's ours. It's not yours. You don't own it. We, the people, own it. You're, we're letting you use it. And you're lucky you got Step a Step away from my vehicle now. You don't even identify. And I will As a matter of fact, I need you guys to identify yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you are. What is your reasonable, articulate suspicion Have we that you think we've committed a crime? Are we being detained, sir? Yes, you are now detained because I'm asking you to identify yourself. I don't know who you guys are. For what uh, crime, sir? For what crime? What crime did we commit, sir? What is your reasonable, articulate suspicion, sir, that we've committed a crime? We're not surrounding your vehicle, sir. Come on now. Don't be silly. We just want your name and badge number. That's all we ask for. No, no, no. Don't walk away. You gotta identify. You're not gonna identify. For what? What crime did we commit? We're on. What crime did we commit? What crime did we commit? No, you don't. You're not getting our ID. We didn't commit a crime, sir. I'm going to formally request for a supervisor, please. Please step away from me. Need to see your identification, your identification, your identification. What crime did you suspect to me to commit? What crime did you suspect me of committing? Tell me, sir. Look, I have no pockets on me. I have no weapons, I nothing. Need you to identify yourself. What crime did I commit? Are you refusing to identify yourself, ma'am? I don't answer Are questions. You refusing to identify yourself? I want to know what crime did I commit? Wow, look at this, guys. Hey, guys, share this video. Where's your supervisor? Thank you. I appreciate that. I need to see your, your, your identification. What, what, what crime did I commit, sir? You were given several orders to step away from and you refuse. You have, I, you have your identification. So you what, wait, yourself? I don't answer questions. Are you what to identify yourself? Question. I did, I never approach, I never approach your vehicle, sir. Are you Please step yourself? away from me. I don't answer questions. Are you refusing to identify well, I don't answer you questions. Her like that, sir. You asked us to spat back from you and you're approaching I asked several, us. You asked several times. What is your reasonable Sir, can I stand next to you? I don't really feel safe around him. Um, I just asked him very politely what his name and badge number was. And he, he just demanded ID from us, but we didn't commit any crime. We just wanted to know his badge number and his name because um, he pulled out his body camera when we, um, we I, I never approached his vehicle close like he's claiming. I just asked him, hey, can I have your name and badge number so I can get the body camera footage? And he refused to do that. And now he's demanding ID when we didn't commit so a crime. Okay. Uh, who's the sergeant? Okay. Documentary. Hi, how are you? She's got all she can tell you the rest, but I was, yeah, it just, I, nobody was doing nothing wrong. Y'all just turned on my flashlight so y'all don't huh, shoot me. Okay, yeah, I understand. I'm, don't but know tell, what happened. Tell her anything, how are you sir? doing? What's your name? 
I'm sorry to say it, but let me find out from him what's going on before I speak with you. Okay, no problem, That's dear. Okay I told her we were just videoing and he become, we asked to see name his name and everything's been recorded. Just let her, let her, now. yeah. yeah. Is this the law by the Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, Wow, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have a lot of vehicles out here. We've been detained, unlawfully detained right now by the Riviera Beach Police. Hey, are you recording right now? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I'm going to go live. Hey, guys, this is a call for help right now. I need somebody in here to put the Riviera Beach Police Department's phone number here. We were just unlawfully detained right now, guys, by a sergeant. We were participating in a constitutionally protected activity. And look at all these units we have out here, guys. Mike C, look up the Riviera Beach Police Department. Put their phone number in here, guys. We're unlawfully detained right now. Look at all these units they sent. Rights Crispy, we need your help. Put the Riviera Beach Police Department phone number in this chat, guys. Put it in there start calling them up we've been unlawfully detained guys that officer unlawfully detained us we asked him for his name and badge number and he detained us guys he's saying that she's being aggressive guys we need your help everybody this is a call for help we might go to jail. They asked us for our ID. I refused to ID, guys. I did not do anything wrong. He could not give me any reasonable, articulate suspicion of a crime that I've committed. This is the tyrant, guys. He refused to identify himself. Jay Surreal Camera. Well, apparently, this is the type of shit that frauditors have to do to get content, guys. Now, these are three pretty young ladies that they could be out there with their boyfriends or husbands or loved ones doing something productive, doing something other than walking throughout the neighborhood with their cameras looking for content. And it's unfortunate for the officer that he happened to be parked in an area where they were walking and um, he became the content, guys. Now... Drama Queen 101 states that when you see a couple of cruisers or whatever, call for help, guys. This is a call for help. Put the number of the police department, start a call flood, because we are getting arrested, guys. This is the type of shit that frauditors do for content, guys. Amazing. If you watch any of her videos, you'll see and understand what I'm talking about. Frauditor 101. Put down the phone number. And that's the walk of shame. That's the walk of shame. Thank you, Rights Crispy. We need your name and badge number one last time. Oathbreaker. You're a liar. You're fired. You're fired. All of them for just a documentary. <laughs> she knew the right. She knew it. Sergeant, thank you so much. Have a good night. Keep up the good work, dear. You're a good cop. She's a good cop, guys. That's a good cop. I got the I got the unit number. She told his ass. She, they weren't committing any crime. What a tyrant. All right. Well, there you go, guys. She did a good job of harassing that police officer. And um, fraud it or 101, guys. Yeah, you got to involve your subscribers in the videos. All right, guys, listen to me. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Silence Boy, right? Silence Boy who goes around walking throughout his neighborhood and recording people while they're trying to enjoy a meal at restaurants that offer outside tables. You're familiar with that asshole, right? 
Well, let me say that I found a couple of videos of this one here, Acker Amanda, recording people at an outside facility into um, looking for the content. And again, I say, guys, the content is the back and forth argument when somebody asks them, why are you recording me? And apparently this chick, she likes using the silent treatment, which annoys people more. And um, I want to show you guys. I, I, this is like the female version of Silence Boy. I found it very peculiar. Now, let me also mention, guys, that she has a very peculiar way of ending her videos. No outro. No, um, she just comes to an end. She ends the video. Sometimes this video here didn't make any too much sense to me. The only reason I posted it, and that I'm posting it, I should say, is because here she is doing the same shit that Silence Boy does. Recording people while they're outside enjoying themselves, you know, for the content, for to piss them off. So, here we got the, the female version of Silence Boy. Let's check out the video so you can see what I'm talking about, guys. With uh, the Gulfport Police Department. Is that being both going inside now? That's fun. Can I help you? Oh. 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 I see your profile. Okay, so, um, if you can't tell me why you're filming, I can't have you just filming out front. Do you want to walk with me this way? Alright, well, I, I was trying to be very nice about it, but... I appreciate you putting me on camera and not my guest. That's very nice. I just want to be very clear. I did make it aware that my guests are uncomfortable with you filming them, correct? All right, thank you.
Oh, I had given you a call. Yeah. It's a second 911 call. All right, guys. We have it. Do you mind telling me what it's for? Or are we just going to keep being silent? Because I don't mind public space filming, but you're making some of my guests feel a little uncomfortable without any consent. Of course. Powerful, powerful stuff. All right, well, there you go, guys. That's how she ended the video. And um, the only reason I posted this video is because it was the shortest out of the three that she has of harassing the people while they're trying to enjoy a meal. And I wanted you to get a taste of uh, the female version of Silence Boy. Yes, guys, another frauditor that's out there doing the same crap, harassing people while they're trying to enjoy a meal. Well, there'll be another wild video of her tomorrow, guys. I'll make sure of that. And um, just wanted you to get a taste of her. Anyway, enjoy your day. Be careful out there. Merry Christmas once again. And I will see you when I see you.